what's this um next men's makeup right this is this little article that's on hype beast that i thought was interesting about the uh, rise in men's makeup or you know something along those kind of lines which again i'm just not very much sold on at all um i just think it's gonna it's gonna take a big big cultural shift to get guys to to you know to want to put makeup on their face outside of you know because again i think i've i thought of it myself because nowadays when i whenever i kind of do my self-care or my kind of daily you know um skincare regime it mostly just involves putting moisturizer on right but in the last few months i've started to get um these um oils that i've kind of mixed with my cocoa butter or whatever it may be and that kind of allows me to kind of get a bit more of a sheen on my face right so it's these kind of really nice oils that you can put some of them in my fragrance and effectively i put them into a small pot mix it around and kind of add, add that and kind of apply it to my face just to kind of give myself a bit of a glow and that you can maybe say that's makeup but it's, i'm not necessarily putting on the foundation i'm not applying any brushes and you just want to look clean i think that's my idea i think of like um skincare regime i want to look clean i want to look visibly clean because you, you know it's very hard to look that way for a guy outside of a haircut outside of really shiny clothes outside to look day day to day so it's, it's hard to look clean with a girl you know the makeup the hair there's loads of layers that can really make you look fresh um so that's one side of it but i think fundamentally guys don't have the we just i don't i just I'm talking from a heterosexual male point of view i just don't think we have the the desire to look pretty or to look good i don't think so i think for the most part uh, a heterosexual male's desire to look attractive or to look very well put together is to attract the opposite sex or somebody else that they want to get into a romantic or sexual uh, relationship with that's what the most reason was right like i know for me when i started to lose weight or when i started to kind of wear nice clothes i just went to fuck that was it right i wanted to improve the level of women i was able to attract by working out and by wearing nicer clothes or by trying to appeal to a broader range of women right that's essentially what you want to do um but it, it would need to i think men's makeup for it to kind of really permeate and to kind of gain footing there would need to be a shift in that in the in way in the way that how men uh put themselves together and and the intentions right because it's very unlikely no you don't really see many guys that just go out and get dressed up really to you no know, dress up to the nine just to kind of hang out it does not really exist outside of fashion dudes right outside of guys that care about brands and care about logos and care about labels and care about houses and care about history uh, culture and all that sort of malarkey outside of those guys you won't really go into weatherspoons and see like a random dude just like dressed to the nines in like a savile row suit who isn't on the pool right for the most part guys that dress really well are on the pool they want to attract a mate or they want to attract uh somebody that they want to be romantically involved in so i think that would have to change guys would have to want to go out and just look cute for themselves right which sounds fucking weird and then then the makeup thing might um come into it but then again there's also a little there's also something there's also like something about uh, I don't know why, but guys have something against other guys who take too much care with themselves, right? David Beckham being a good example of it, right? So most guys, some guys hate David Beckham because he really took pride in his appearance. And there is something about, there is, I don't know what it is about dudes that really get annoyed with someone that cares about the appearance. Maybe because it's a vanity thing. Maybe it goes back to like, you know, um, Hunter Gatherer era where maybe that guy was the one that was snitching. That guy was the one that was kind of trying to get out of going on a hunt. I don't know what it is, but it's something about a guy that takes care of themselves that really rubs some dudes up the wrong way. So until those things change, I don't think we're going to see men's makeup really permeate within like um, uh, within the general public or within men in general. I think out, you know, I, I think even the kind of Georgie Shaw guy would kind of be hard pressed to kind of be taken seriously with a full face of makeup in amongst his friends. I don't think that would work because those guys really care a lot about their appearance, right? They go underneath sun bears, they get waxes, they work out insane amounts, like they wear really tight clothes, show off their muscles. But I think even those guys would be hard pressed to kind of go day by day wearing foundation or eyeliner and all that sort of malarkey. Again, um, I would like to see it because I think there is something to be said for that kind of freshness look, right? That kind of wanting to look clean, but I just don't know whether or not guys want to look pretty. That's the thing that I'm kind of on the fence about. Again, um, I'm not sure who's going to do it. Someone might do it. We might see Rihanna kind of permeate it, but I think, you know, even if an ASAP Rocky brought out a makeup line, I don't think a lot of guys would want to buy into it or even someone like a Pharrell who's kind of well regarded or heralded for his skincare regime and looking really young. 
I think um, the only way it will kind of work again is from the kind of moisturizing exfoliation kind of point of view. But I don't think the quote unquote brushing of the face will work for dudes overall. Just my opinion in general. I don't think necessarily guys will kind of really be up for that. Um, and da, 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 da. and this kind of um, lends itself a little bit to this interview that I saw with uh, C.S. Maljan. I don't know how he pronounced his name. C.S. Maljan. Uh, he's a Dutch um, New York based designer who's kind of really hotting up. And he said something again that kind of lends itself to what I mean in terms of like guys don't want to look sexy, they just want to look comfortable and good, right? They just want to look comfortable for the most part. And his brand is kind of like one of the brands you'd kind of, you know, say is a quintessential uh, comfortable brand out there. Uh, I'll try and get it up on here. Da, 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 da. So this guy called Sis Major and he makes these amazing clothes, sort of like um, a better, should I say better version of our legacy? But like, you know, imagine how our legacy is, right? Really comfortable, boxy shapes. And um, I'll get some of it up on your screen. So really comfortable shapes, uh, nice silhouettes. Um, everything's very floaty and kind of, you know, looks really good on the body, like loads of nice silks and walls and stuff. And this is something really interesting in an interview with GQ that I'm going to read now, which kind of, again, lends itself to what I mean about guys probably don't want to look that sexy. And he says, um, uh, the, the interview asks him, uh, what do you mean by ease? And Cease Major says the following. Um, all day long, you're in a you're in a pajama type of feeling, even though you're not actually in pajamas, like men, how they dress, right? I think that's something that men have really reacted to. Men are all uh, men are also really reacting to all the extreme pieces, like the pink fur jackets or the super bright purple pants that he makes, which sold out immediately. And these are straight guys who are kind of trying to figure out who they are as men. And because in the Me Too movement, men are sort of confused, straight men are sort of confused about who they are, what they, what, what they are and how they stand, the solution maybe is wearing a pink fur jacket because that shows another side. And I think that's really great, right? Because you're, you know, as a, again, I think as a heterosexual male myself, that's something that's always been quite difficult, right? How do you, because I've always, how do you kind of, um, you know, display your masculinity right but also the femininity side of you right the softness right without it being a little bit too hard or too aggressive because you know we will have varying interests that kind of are, are, are at odds with the traditional masculine energy that exists and for the most part um the only way to do it for a guy is by the clothes you wear right um intellectually or you know culturally it's hard because i'd have to talk to you to kind of find out that you're into theater or you like reading books or whatever monarchy but then the one instant way to do it is by the clothes that you wear to kind of like get, kind of um soften um, the harshness of you or wh what you're about and fashion does a really good job of doing that so i think in general um for the most part i think in a fashion world that's happening right you're seeing a lot more guys you know um wearing uh, women's blouses and integrating them in their outfits, whether it's old Celine and stuff like that. Um, wearing pants are a little bit more floaty looking, a little bit more airy. Pleated pants from Aisi Miyake being a good example, right? There's something inherently feminine about a pleated pant, but that's been taken into, uh, pulled into a men's wardrobe, um, showing off the ankles, more skin, blah, 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 blah. Um, going away from the overly really muscular look and going more to the kind of, you know, a svelte sort of like fit, um, Adam Levine kind of style looking. There is something to be said for it, but again, I just think we're far, far, far away, 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 away from men kind of having, you know, a, a makeup kit and then kind of, you know, powdering their face in between uh, meals when they're out. I just don't think that's something that's going to on the cards at the moment. But again, it might happen over time. Um, it might be a slow, slow burn, but I just think nowadays, for the most part, guys want to look comfortable, guys want to look clean. Um, and you know, guys just want to have as many options, as many opportunities as possible to attract a mate through the, maybe the clothes that they're wearing. That's my POV on that one.